Hello and welcome back to BA GM Mode in NHL 19 with the Vancouver Canucks here at the first year of the draft and we have the first overall pick. We did a good job. We lost for Hughes and even though NHL 19 tried to screw us up in the end it gave us a reward and we get a pick first overall. So let's take a quick look at the draft class. Number one here, Jack Hughes, high elite playmaking. He's going to be perfect for us. There's some other good picks here, so some other teams will be getting good picks as well. Um, I didn't want to go here anyways. I wanted to go draft board and see where the things were taught, uh, the scouts were telling us to go. Draft board. I like this feature. It's really helpful. Although I this watch this part, I would like it to have been moved. I would like my projected picks first on the screen. So our second round pick, we have one second overall. So they have us here taking uh, Arthur Kalavi or Jacob Pierler or Yaka Pustin. Awesome. Uh, so Jacob Pierler is on both pages. So maybe we'll take him with our second pick. Depends on what he's looking like. Um, all right, so we'll keep an eye out for these players. We'll constantly go back and check the stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks like we should be able to get some good centers, defense, so maybe some goaltenders. I saw one up here earlier, I think. Boop, boop, boop. It's a goaltender? No, no goaltenders on our draft board, but you never know. One may be available that can be helping out. Let's take a quick look at draft class, though. I did want to go to draft class. That's right. Because I have the new feature, uh, gems and busts. And I want to see if there's any gems and who do we stay away from before we get into the actual draft. Gems, okay. Brayden Holloway. He's a goalie. He's at 213 and he's a low franchise goalie. Alright, so we're going to do our best at around 213 to take him. Uh, if we don't have anything close to that, we might go way sooner. But really, a franchise goalie? That'd be awesome to get. And we know he's franchise because we got that four bars on the uh, binoculars. So, all right, that's a huge gem. You got a low elite here. He's probably second round-ish. Matt Sperglund, beginning second round. Okay, we might go a little bit sooner. Some talks to these guys here. But avoid these guys, even though Central Scouting is like, hey, look at them. Ooh, seventh D. All right, so we'll keep an eye out, but all right, we're going to throw him on a watch. We're pin him. It's the same as watch list, right? Yeah, pin to watch list. So we'll keep an eye out on this Brandon Hall Braden Holloway. That's weird. Franchise goalie. Nobody knows about him, apparently. I don't know. Uh, let's edit the trade block real quick so that way we can get some trades and stuff. Um, um, whatever, whatever, whatever. I still want picks and I don't want to give up picks. So we'll just knock off this crap. I don't know why this changes at the end of every season. It should just stay on. Oops. Oops. On, on, on. And then we'll also, before we start the draft, because I don't want to forget about it. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. All of a sudden, I just wanted to sneeze. So while I was sneezing in between sneezes, I can quickly do the trade block stuff real quick. So anyways, I had a Gagne and Sutter to it. Um, we're going to be bringing in Patterson. He's coming up. We're, uh, we're going to get in Jack Hughes. I wanted to keep Beagle. Uh, we could also keep these guys. If the trade's not right, we're not going to get rid of them. We'll just keep them and deal with them there. I also turned off all the surplus for the trade stuff. But we're going to go with two people on our trade block. Uh, maybe we get some offers. Who knows? Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, awards. Because we haven't done that yet. We were excited that we got Jack Hughes at the end of the last video. So, Stanley Cup winners back to back years. The Washington Capitals. Up. Oh, presidents was the Penguins. Boo. Uh, Edmonton Oilers won the Clarence S. Campbell. And Prince of Wales goes to the Caps. Player awards Art Ross, Tavares. Hart Memorial, Kucherov. Norris, Suban. Lady Bean, Kucherov, Calder, Casey Middlestat. We should have a running in for that one this year. Consmyth, Ovi, uh, Vesna, Murray, Jennings, Murray, Bill Masterson, Boychuk, uh, Selkie, Bergeron, Shocker, Bergeron, Kopitar, Bergeron, Kopitar. That's all it ever is. 
Lindsay Kucherov, and Razor Shard Ovi once again. Uh, then we'll go to AHL. Calder Cup, the Utica Comets. Awesome. Uh, I think this is the yeah, most points in the season goes to the Marlies. Uh, best regular season in the Eastern Conference is the Marlies. Uh, regular season West was the Bakersfield Condors. Uh, winner of the Central San Antonio Rampage. Winner of the Pacific Bakersfield. Winner of the Atlantic Bridgeport. And winner of the North is the Marlies. So we didn't win anything except for the one that mattered. Uh, Award of the Eastern Conference Champions. That's us, Utica. And we played the Grand Rapids Griffins who won the Western Conference Championship. Player Awards. Uh, annual who has the most scores the most points, Pedersen. Most valuable player, Pedersen. Uh, most goals. Oh, who scores the most goals in the American League? Oh, I thought. Anyways, Wallstrom gets the most goals in the American League. Really wish that would have been uh, Pedersen, but oh well. But outstanding rookie, Pedersen. Uh, best defenseman, Lilligrand. Uh, best goalie, McElhaney. Should have been Demko. Uh, most valuable player in the Calder Cup, Demko. Uh, sportsmanship award, Patterson. Uh, player best represents youth imp improvement in the community. Haha, <laughs> community award is Bowie. Uh, Greatest goalie, basically. Lowest goals against average is McElhaney. And they're back to Patterson. So, Patterson cleaned up some awards. He got the Calder and a bunch of individual awards. Got the Calder Cup. He hasn't got the Calder yet. Hopefully, he can get it this year. And then I was looking at... I'm going to look at points here. Um, it says Boucher. He has uh, 15 points. And that led the team. I was like... What about Pedersen? Because if you go over to centers, Pedersen is not here. And that's because he got called up to the, a the NHL. So we'll just go here, flip it, and then we'll back out. I should have gotten the players one. That would have been so much smarter for me to do. Anyways, uh, so Pedersen got called up to the AH NHL somehow because the game automatically does that for some reason. So he's here, which means he can't be... Oh, Okay, I gotta go into his actual stats. Uh, he had, I think he had 19 points. So he's a point per game player in the playoffs, which is freaking amazing. And boom, boom, boom. Yep, there was right page. Okay, centers. It's taking a while. Sorry. But we know we're gonna draft Jack Hughes. So first overall pick isn't that bad. Uh, full career stats. <laughs> Playoff stats. AHL, yep, yeah, 19 points. So he's a point per game player in the, the AHL playoffs. Now we can draft Jack Hughes. All right, start the draft. First overall pick goes to the Vancouver Canucks. And we're bringing the Hughes brothers to Vancouver. We're selecting uh, at center Jack Hughes. Make pick. I completely forgot where he was playing. I was gonna do the thing. I think I was actually making the pick. Forgot who was playing though. Anyways, uh, pretty sure it's the U.S. Development Program. Uh, we'll just send the first five picks. See who goes fifth. Uh, Zach Wait. I don't know what he sees. So it's gotta be Zach Wait. Goes second overall. Clawfield goes third. Bornfoot goes fourth, and fifth overall. Pod Verlakian. Yeah, that that word. I have no idea. Alright, we'll go to our next pick, which should be ours in the second round. Yes. And then right there, number five overall. Haha. -ha. Uh any no, that's right. I don't need to go back and look at any of the lead stuff, because that's no longer a thing. It's all stuff that I already know. Okay. Didn't we have a gem or something to get 37? Uh, ooh, Berglund center gem. Yep, we have him going 37th overall. So, you know what? We'll, make, we'll take this gem. Center is going to be a low lead player for us, but hey, we can put him in our system. We can grow him. That's fine. Uh, oops, I just sent him the pick. Oh, well, we'll just go one more over. 
make the pick. Fifth overall. Do we have any other gems? I don't think we have any other gems. Um, how about we take this right, dude right here? Is low leap, power forward, left wing. We're going to need some wings in the future. Uh, I think we can put him in the system and just let him grow. Boom. We are on it with the elites. I kind of like the new system because it's easier to see elites. But it also could be harder to see elites. So, third round. Oh, I got to keep an eye on my goalie. Oh, almost forgot. Is he, please tell me he's still there. We're only in the 60s. He's got to be still there. Okay, yes, he's still there. Woo! All right, back to where we were. So, Sentry Scouting has this dude going 63 overall. We have him 67. What are you picking out? 64th? Okay. Um, Weather Spoon's a top six defenseman. We're working right here. Himmelin is a top four defenseman. That's good for us as well. Anybody else? I'm gonna take a risk on the unknown, throw him in the system. You never know what's gonna happen. What's his stats look like? Uh, two points, a goal and assist in 22 games. Yay, hey, that's not good. And that's stuff that's not. Oh, the scout only saw this. That's what he got. Uh, maybe we avoid taking the risk on him. Okay. I don't want to go too far down. Top six forwards here. Nothing too major. There's Honka, who can be a top. He's a top four guy, but that's low. What's this guy? Top four low. Eh. I'm going to take the risk on the top four. Helmin, Halimin, Halimin, Halimin. I don't know. Top four defenseman. Uh, defensive defenseman. Uh, we got a minute three left. We'll take a quick look at the draft board. See if anything else pops out at us. Right now, I'll probably go Halimin. Um, Oleg Bure, Ryan Shields, and Sergei Pokhnavowski. I butched that last name, but. Woo! Uh, well, it says uh, the watchboard has us taking this first dude overall right here. Well, not first overall, this first guy on our list. Do we avoid the top? Well, we could use centers. Well, we have plenty of centers. We got Horvat, we got Hughes, we got Pedersen. Wow, I just forgot his name. Oh. Taking the risk. Going with the watch board. So we'll figure out. We gotta keep an eye on Poivorowski. Yeah, that that's his name. Poivorowski. Um fourth round, second pick. As our guy still there. Do, 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 do. Fringe starter. Hey hey. Um so, 2.13, so we still got plenty of time. We're only at 95. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on it, though. I think that's a B6 round for us. Okay, so do we take the goalie we know is going to be a French starter? Or now, we don't want the goalie going to be a French starter. We can take the shot at the two elite here. Uh, what does our draft board say? Draft board says... Uh... Kristoff Harjabek, Julian Poyer. Why are these hard names? And Boris Kristoff. Thank you, Boris Kristoff. Um. Of course, none of them are right here. So that watch board is completely useless to us. Or, you know, we can take this goalie we know is going to be an elite goalie. So we have Demko, we have Markstrom, we can get this guy, we're going to take our franchise goalie, I'll be four, and who knows how it's going to work out, they can, we can maybe trade away Markstrom, bring in one of them in, trade one of these guys out, probably Fitzpatrick would be the one that gets traded out to a team, to bring in a big pick next, in a couple years or something. We will always need goalies for the AHL to help that team out. If somebody gets injured, we're going to need a goalie. You know what? We'll take Fitzpatrick. 
We know he's a mid elite goalie. You can always, you can never have too many elite goalies. I don't care what anybody says, they're wrong. Cigar pick. Okay, we're in the fifth round. Before we get into it, let's take a quick look at the draft board. See, that's annoying. I have to be the right bumper every time. Chase Walter, Central Sky Animal, 123. Philip Severson, 125. And Marshall Royal Poop. Royal Pill. Heh, <laughs> poop, I said. Uh, 124. So, 123, 125, 124. According to Central Scouting, not us. Uh, they're gone. Awesome. Love looking at the watch draft board when it's not there. Uh, yeah, there's a backup goalie. Bottom six forward. Wow, there's nothing here. Uh, HL, 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 HL. Low lead on that defense, on that center. And it's not even fully known. Um... Fred Reichel, low elite. We know it's going to be low elite. Two-way forward, left wing. Okay, before we do this, though, where are our next picks? The draft board should tell us, I think. Why doesn't it tell us? So we're picking 126 right now, so most likely that's going to be 157. That's going to be 182. I... Ooh, pay him to the seventh round. We might take our goalie here. Depend. We're going to probably take him to the sixth round, probably with the Capitals pick. So we got two picks left. We got to keep an eye on. I remember taking that goalie. I've never seen a franchise player on one of my teams. At least that I drafted. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do the, curb, the Fred Reichel. That's right. Fred Reichel, there you are. Left wing, American, sniper. Not sniper, two-way forward. High chances of being a low elite, so why not? Take the risk. And if it doesn't work out, you can trade him away. So, oh, I just did some pick. All right, so draft board says... How is my draft... I just realized, how does my draft board not have Holloway on it? it? Makes no sense. Oh, 155, 154, and 156. I'm not even going to attempt names anymore. Just do the numbers. Yep, 157. Haha. <laughs> and they're all gone! So it looks like the teams above us are just selecting where their pick is. Um, unknown, low chance of being low elite. HL bottom six, and we don't even know of that. Wow. Now, to be fair, that could be a top six player. Most likely is it. Um, anything? No, there's nothing here. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way down the goal anyways. All right, so last pick before we take our goalie. Let's take a shot on this low chance of being a low elite. Yannick Valerity. Verna Valerie Valerity. Sure. So I like the new system where you you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what who is who, what they're going to be and stuff. But when I draft them, at least tell me they're overall. That'd be nice. I don't need to know other teams overall. I can still scout that out, but I want to know theirs now. All right. I don't want to risk it. I'm going to take him. There's one pick between ours, right? I could... Ooh, risking it to go into Florida. All right, we're going to make this pick. We are going to not take our goalie. We're going to hope like crazy Halloway doesn't go in the seventh round to Florida Panthers. And maybe we can grab from there. A lot of goalies here. A lot of AHL stuff. And then we're going to sim it up to like the last like five picks. And we're going to look at how we've done this draft so far that before we get too far into it. So there's still a lot of players before... 
Holloway, so we can hopefully sneak him out of there. All right, well, let's take this Havlod guy. I'm sure he's the guy on our draft board. Oh, please don't take him. Please don't take him. Please don't take him. Please don't take him. Woo! We get Holloway. So we get Jack Hughes first overall, and then we get Holloway, our franchise goalie. Where are you at, buddy? Probably couldn't end by gem, but oh well. Holloway. So let's not go here. Dra uh, summary? No more round to go? No. My team? No. <sighs> Draft activity? No. Can I look at the players I've selected, please? View draft class. Uh, can I look at all eligible scouted players? Nope, okay. I don't know how to look at just my players I've selected, their overall, their potentials. Is it here in draft boards? Direct to picks, blah, blah, blah. No. I, thanks, NHL 18, 19. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, whatever. We'll just go to the next thing. Uh, use your pick. In case the trade were to come up, we can accept that and go. But nothing may come up. Those are all our guys. I wish there was an easy way to go. Okay, these are all the elites. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty sure we have mostly elite players. And if they're not going to be end up being elites, uh, they'll probably be... Uh, the following scouts have expiring contracts. Okay, okay, and... So, HL Pacific, HL Atlantic, and SHL. We'll just take a look and see. Do we want to sign these guys? HL Atlantic and Pacific both C's and both A pluses in their region. SHL, SHL, SHL. We got a B and an A. Yes, you are going to get signed. I hit B. Okay, thank you. So I don't know how scouts work. I haven't messed too much with the scouts. But we are going to definitely sign this dude to a contract. Yes. When can I hire new ones? I want to see... I want to go out there and look and be like, Okay, this is... Who's going to be in this region next year? This is what... This is available next year, I mean. And then I can look at by region and stuff. And be like, okay, this is who's who, blah, blah, blah. And do all that stuff. All right, so, oops, not left wingers. Centers, start there. Blah, 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 blah. All the way at the very bottom. Jack Hughes. Pick, signed him to his contract. I do not care. Get him on a contract. Uh, oh, Pavlovsky. Okay, we have that guy, but we're going to keep an eye on him. Um, I don't want to sign everybody to contracts. I want to get the main guys. Um, and then right wing, Brock Besser. You definitely need a contract. 70, how about, oops, no. One way. Eight years. Yeah, no, we're gonna this way faster. Probably wouldn't have faster to go the other way. Oh well. Ah, uh, so. Anyways, I wanna see who's available in the region for the scouts and be like, okay, this is who's who. I'm pretty sure I've already explained this, but it's gonna take a while to get to nine. But I can go who's who, and like this is their ranking. I can look at what's what, and do I want to sign this dude, or do I not want to sign this guy? So I wish that was a thing. You, I'll probably offer you know what, Brock Besser. Boop 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 boop. Ten million, eight years, eighty million dollars. Brock Besser, worth it, especially when we get Patterson playing with him. Huh? And then the drat cap goes up. Any left fingers you need to sign? Uh, nobody major. Defenseman, Ben Hutton, yeah, we'll take a stab at you. Actually, before we do that, goalies. Demko, yes, you will need a contract, buddy. How about four years? Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, that's a lot of money. Um, we give an extra year. I'm gonna have to pay for it a little bit. Ouch, that kind of hurts. You know, four years. Because the difference between uh, three and a four, the money-wise, is not that much. We'll give you exactly what you want for four years, though. 
535. Ooh, 535. Alright, so maybe that can... We can secure Debco up a little bit. Um, and then we'll make sure those guys get signed. We want to get them to contracts no matter what. I'm pretty sure Jack Hughes is going to accept his contract. So go with it. Brosser accepted. Debco accepted. Jack Hughes accepted. Ah, we're becoming a good team now. Okay. Now we can worry about our players. What do we have right now? Contracts, 48 of 50. Whoa. So, so we have 48 of 50 contracts. And you get... This is why I don't like HL19 for this reason right here. You can't trade a player right now. I should be able to go, hey, I don't need this player anymore. Goodbye and get rid of him. <sighs> All right, gotta work around it here. So we have two spots left that we can have. We desperately need to help certain people though. So centers, one, two, three, four. Uh, probably Sutter's not gonna play with us. Gagne is not gonna be there because we're gonna have Horvat, Hughes, Pedersen, Beagle. Those will be our four, guaranteed. So the lowest one now is 79. And I'm pretty sure Hughes is higher. So we got our four centers. Perfect. Left wingers, one, two, three. Leipzig, ah, it's not the end of the world contract if we get you or not. Wow, and we have nobody for the AHL. Okay. One, two, uh, ah, wow, we have no wingers. We have a bunch of centers who can play wing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten centers signed. So it only gives us two extra centers if you go all the way through AHL. Where are... Defenseman, one. I want some defenseman sign, two. Because now I'm at Biega, is three. I should be able to trade players away right now. I should be able to go, Gabanson, bye-bye. Biega, bye-bye. And just start dropping some of the players. Like, why are these guys on contracts? Breeze ball is okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. And then for goalies, how are we looking? We got our four, that's fine. Nielsen, we don't need any more. Dia Pietro can come in, be a backup in the AHL. Bachman's the starter. Hey, hey, hey. If it's possible, we sign Patrick and Holloway. Maybe they come over, maybe they don't. I have plenty of space. I don't have the number of contracts available. All right, let me check something. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, nope, 28. So I have 20 contracts signed right now. But my contract limit right down there at the bottom of the screen, third column over, 48 of 50. Unless they're counting the RFAs as contracts as well. There is one way to test that. Because if RFAs are being counted as contracts, I'm fine. I can work this out very easily. Um, who is the guy I want to give to? Do, 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 do. Leipzig, who can be a left winger for us. One year, that's not the worst amount of money. We got plenty of it in the world. So we're gonna have to burn a day here to test this theory out. One day, Leipzig accepted, awesome. Please still be 48. Okay, 48. So all our FAs are good. So we can sign our FAs all day. Okay, so now, Oops, centers. 
my fingers. Now we got plenty of people in the NHL. We're gonna need some AHL people. Great. Uh, contract. Eh, whatever. Throw my little AHL. Uh, Tyler Mott deal. Cool. Camera contract. Uh, so if you have a, a if you have a RFA, I'm just signing you to whatever contract you want. Okay, that should help out. One, two, three, four. So we should have plenty for AHL. Yeah, we got the fifth dude right here in Gavadic. Okay. Uh, might as well bring a Dovin back. RFA, that's fine. Perfect. Defenseman. Ben Hunton and Pouliot, both RFAs as well. Locked out there. Sure. Three years, that's fine for Ben Hunton. Pouliot, and then we can trade these guys later. So now we're at four signed defensemen through Stetcher. Ah! Okay, I'm not signing you. Probably should have brought all of the AHL people back. Probably not the smartest idea in the world for me to do. Main roster, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, pip, 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 pip. How many of these people do I not want? Uh, okay, you know what? All of the RFAs people, they're all good. Um, Granlin, yeah, we could bring Granlin back, throw him the miners, help out there. Or trade him. That's fine. Either way. Kira, ooh, Carol did good for us in the playoffs. And helped out the AHL team a lot. So, maybe. No, we're going to use, so we can get rid of you. That to free up contract spot. So, we're going to go through here. Some a day. See everybody signs up. Oh, I forgot about the scout. Ha ha. Boucher accepted. Pua accepted. Kranz accepted. Ma accepted. Granlin. Godobin. Hun. Kansen. All of everybody accepted. Perfect. Um. And then we're just gonna advance the day here. And then one more day, and it should be like, oh, you're forgetting about this person. Uh, two players need qualifying offers. Okay, yeah, there was nobody major that needed the qualifying offers. So, we'll look at some free agents. Okay. Okay, you need to provide trade block. Again, thank you for that. I'm going to ask you not to do that. Free agents. Look at the free agents. Who should we sign? Okay, we have 41 contracts. So, ooh, Eric Carlson's available. Panarin, Everly, Duchesne. Simmons, Nyquist, Silverberg, Chara, Verona, Thornton, Yanni Gord, Stallman, Morrissey. Okay. Take a look at goalies. Bob, Rene, Vlamov, Talbot, Elliot, Mrazek, Lettinen. Yeah, we're good. We have Demko, we have Nelson. We should be fine. Although I do want to see who is interested in Bob. Colorado and Ottawa. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, who? Nobody's interested in Panarin, huh? Okay, so is it possible? Do we grab Carlson? He's a top two defenseman. We have the money for it. We don't have the money for it. Because we have $7 million left, apparently. I don't know. We can pick up some players. Leave ideas down in the comments below. Click like, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Uh, and until next time, when we do some free agent stuff. And then we start the regular season with Jack Hughes. And see how everything goes. I will see you later.